What you just did, you enforced a law that was arbitrary to your feeling. I don't care what walk of life you come from. We are all first class citizens until we break the law. You don't think you're a little bit rude? Yeah, I am. It's rude. It is. And I was, I'm going to tell you like my mom tells me. That's just not nice. Got another mouth for another phone? I don't answer questions. <laughs> Police have been more accountable. I agree. To cameras agree to a point to surveillance. I agree. Right. Transparency. I'm Why are you some, asking I'm me to give you some directions, though. and you're going to follow them? Okay. So you are under arrest. <laughs> the one I motherfucking got arrested. <laughs> My loose ain't tried to run. She ain't tried to run, but he got tired. He was a big motherfucker. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's video features Wolverine Transparency, who was conducting an audit of the Great Lakes Water Authority in Detroit, Michigan, on July 14th, 2021. He was joined by Frickin' Media, Eyes on Corruption, and Michigan Constitutional Crusader. All of their links will be posted below. Wolverine's original video is just over six hours long, and is easily one of the most interesting to have come out of the auditing community in quite some time, as it gives us an inside look at how security and police officers think and act when they forget they're being broadcasted to a live audience. The group traveled around the area, being overly mindful of staying on the public sidewalk. A couple hours into the video, they ended up outside the Great Lakes Water Authority, a government-run utility company that provides drinking water and sewer services. While filming from the public sidewalk, they were approached by two security guards, who immediately called the Detroit Police Department, alleging that the group was on the facility's property. Now look, see where, see where, see where he's standing? Alright, look where MCC standing. It's where, it's where, as a matter of fact, that's how Direct D got a, got, uh, right there where he's at, a public approach, see that? The same thing with Direct D last night. Again, I just want to let you guys know where we're at. Give you, give you all, the narrative is that it's infrastructure, okay? Everything around here. So it's it's ran by the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and uh, the FBI is really thick through here. About 30 minutes later, Officer Sandoval and Hernandez of the Detroit Police Department arrive on scene and notify the men that they are parked on private property. At this point, they are asked to leave, and after a brief discussion, they clear their vehicles from the lot and park on the public roadway. You guys were advised you guys can't come back. I understand that. Yeah, they shouldn't let city buses park here. Yeah, we'll let them know. If you guys want to call them and file anything you want to file, feel free to do so. Officer Sandoval eventually claims that the vehicles are now impeding traffic. And no. This car needs to move. No, it ain't because there's no signs. No signs, bro. Nice try. Nice try. Where's the traffic? Where's the traffic? No, it ain't. It's on a public side. It's on a oh, uh, right here. That's you see that car? All oh, this shit. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this line. So what about it? You can't park here. So it's it doesn't say you can't. It doesn't say you can. No, I'm not. That's not a, impeding traffic. Is stopping traffic. As the men leave to park elsewhere, multiple officers of the Detroit Police Department arrive on scene. They engage in talks with the Great Lakes Water Authority, who claim that the four men were asked to leave the property, but refused and testified that they have video evidence. Eventually, a Detroit Police Department supervisor arrives on scene. Supervisor here, that's him right there, Mr. Stevens. Mr. Sievers. S5, oh, Sievers, sorry. S504. Hey, you guys called? We didn't call. They called. For supervisor, these two call for supervisor. You don't know the law, so they call you. So there you go. For him to be worried about his safety from a guy with a camera who obviously poses no threat. During that conversation, Wolverine Transparency speaks with this officer. I got electrocuted, man. I died ten times. The back of my head's blown out. All right. Now I'm, I don't want, I want no sympathy. I want you to listen to me. Just listen to me. I know. I'm out here. I'm out here for the First Amendment, bro. That's it. I will tell you this. This is something that will blow your mind, and I will tell you guys quite severely. In the history of law enforcement, there has never been a time, ever, in my experience, that police have been more accountable I agree. to cameras, I agree to, a point. I agree. to surveillance, I agree. Right. transparency, right. all of that. Right. So, also, 
the social networking. Mm -hmm. When something happens in California, right. we, we know about, about it everywhere. here oh, yeah. in moments. The supervisor on scene finally decides to arrest the four based on the security officer's testimony while refusing to review the auditor's video evidence. He notifies them that this incident is going to go all the way through to the FBI and Joint Terrorism Task Force. All right. So here's what's going to happen tonight. Uh, and I hope you have some people on the you're going to have a bunch of people you're going to call. But today, you are going to be arrested for trespassing. Uh, We're on public property. Hold on. They have information, right? They, they have video showing that you were warned not to be on the property and that you came back onto the property. <laughs> no, we were parked right there. And we left the property. Wolverine Transparency leaves, but is then pulled over and subsequently arrested for trespassing. They're arresting our friends right now, freaking media. They're arresting all our people for observing their right, for observing their rights, asserting their rights, and they are crazy as hell. They have lost their minds. And I can't believe that these people did what they did over a parking issue. Butt hurt because they were recording. Hello, sir. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break no rule. Two, three, six, zero, five. I am Sergeant David Rios of the Detroit Police Copy Department. Copy that. You are being detained at this time. All right. Okay. We get your driver's license. Yeah, For what? What's, what's your reasonable or tickable suspicion? Hey, listen, I told you you're being detained due to that investigation. You are operating motor vehicle in the state of Michigan. I am requesting your license. You have to. You got it. Okay, hold up. Stop, stop, so, stop. You have to have reasonable or tickable suspicion that I can. What is it? What? What is it? Hold what, on. For what? You are being detained. For what? During this investigation that you just drove away from. It. So no, no, no. I, I wasn't being detained down oh, you there. Are. No, you were detaining me right here. Sergeant C advised me to detain you at this time while they're still sorting things out there. So you are detained, you are not free to leave. Okay, I will I will wait for that because you can't you can't give me RAS. Reasonable articulable suspicion means that I, I had to commit a crime or I committed a crime. Is you are operating a motor vehicle in the yeah. state of Michigan. Yeah. I'm requesting your identification, your driver's license. You have to provide the law license. says I have to be when I'm pulled over and detained, you have to articulate re articulate what, what what's the law? I just did. What what law did I break? I what law did I break? They are still sorting it out down there. Okay, you well I am gonna remain silent until you do. Okay. I'm Why are you some, asking I'm gonna me give the you some directions? Though? And you're going to follow them, okay? So you are under arrest. Okay, but I'm what's your reasonable, terminable well, suspicion? I'm not going to give you that. You are under arrest. Wait a minute. Arrest. You're telling you're telling Step me that out I, of the vehicle. Right I'm going to do what you ask okay. me to do. All right. I'm going to have you put your hand all right. on the car here. You leave that right there. Sir. No, I'm taking leave my right phone there. with me. I want to. I want. I, I want to leak. Do, do you have your Do you have your uh, thing on? Yes, it is. All right, because now, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I'm going to stop you right here. You're not. I'm not a threat to you. Listen, I'm not a threat to you. What you're going to do? I'm telling you. Look, you're going to. You can do whatever you want to do. All four men were arrested. During which. Wolverine Transparency suffers a medical emergency and exhibits multiple life-threatening symptoms, including shortness of breath, chest pain, and blurred vision, symptoms that will later be mocked by the GLWA employees and other unidentified personnel, along with his disabilities that are the result of an electrocution, five cell phones, and two cameras were seized as evidence. Most of the phones were turned off. However, during his arrest, Wolverine was never given an opportunity to end his live stream. You leave that right there? Sir. No, I'm taking my phone with me. And over the next three hours, his device broadcasted the conversations of several of the officials as the phone was passed through the chain of command and placed in evidence. Most of the voices from here on out are unidentified at this time, but the female voice is alleged to be Sergeant Mullard of the Great Lakes Water Authority Security. The following is a compilation of what the officer said during the seizure of the phone and the three hours after. And this guy, this guy is screaming. I'll tell you what, they're going to have a hell of a time because this is going to the, uh, they already, their lieutenant is on the way, they already contact the Joint Terrorism Task Force, and then, and then all, all this shit goes to the FBI, all their phones and everything are going to the FBI so they can look at all this. They're going to have a hell of a time, they're, they're going to have a hell of a time getting their shit back, their cars. 
So, yeah. So they're going to be in a little bit of deep So shit. are we still affecting the arrest? Yeah. So what we're doing the arrest, and then they're doing their own arrest reports. All the the phones are they're going they're taking all the phones and shit. So they're all their phones and everything are going to them. And then, like I said, they already contacted the Joint Terrorism Task Force and all that shit. So all this stuff is. Okay, I just need like literally a half a puff of the cigarette. Oh, no, you good. Take your time. <laughs> so how many devices we got? One, two, one, two, three, Damn. four, five, six, seven devices. I just have to report from the police department because we didn't get none of their names. Some of them refusing the EMS on the way from one, three, three. <laughs> so... Yeah, and then we, they waiting on the tow truck, but we're clear as far as I said, uh, as far as, uh, yeah, they went to jail. Yeah, they chased him down and got him on the other side, but he can't breathe, so the EMS on this. Hey, 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 no, it gets better. He only had one arm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Three maybe if y'all can prepare an um, envelope for um, <coughs> Just for your information, I'll be taking Sergeant Mahler down to MOB. You're dummy number one, you're dummy number two, you're dummy number well, three. My whole thing is like, why are you coming after like fucking security officers for... <laughs> Saying just fucking move. But they say they do this on purpose. I was just trying to figure out like what's... What's the purpose? I like guess well, you, people you, in... you know those uh, news agencies? Oh, yeah. they would pay big money for it. Hell yeah. But this is the first time. That's why I said I was surprised because all the years I've been here, DPD almost never fucking comes. Right. You know, so it's like... It's, it's on us. It's on us. And there's only so much... We can do. Right. You can be like, you can't record here. And, and they, they can like, be like, fuck, fuck you. you. And that's and it. And then you're just standing there looking stupid. <laughs> Right, like, all right, cool. I can't really and I think do that's what they thought was going to happen. Yeah. So that's why I told the sergeant, like, I'm, you know, thankful that you guys came because there's only so much we can do. Yeah. Which goes back to, you know, our position. I mean, if they were able to cross that line, like, right over past the gate, we'd Not be like, all right, yet. now let's go. All right. Up, T. We got stuff. <laughs> Man, there. Hey. Hi, partner. Hey. How are you doing? How are you? Oh, look at the desk. Look at the desk. <laughs> okay, this is all the shit, Wyatt. The one cell phone just keep ringing, so. So I got five. How many you got? Seven devices. Damn. Uh, five cell phones, two cameras. What, what's up, big boy? Yeah. <laughs> the one arm motherfucker got arrested. <laughs> My Lou said he tried to run. She said he tried to run, but he got tired. He was a big motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I, I I didn't see how the hand comes. That was my question too. It's like, okay, how the hell did they do that with one damn arm, man? Man, this shit was this shit was like three stooges tonight. I'm telling you, this shit was comical. <laughs> that motherfucker ran, got arrested. She, you say the red block got tired <laughs> Oh, hi, <right>, bro. Later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come to think of it, how do they handcuff you? Yeah, that's a, that's a good damn question. That's a good damn question. And then they still, even when the police got there, they still, this one guy, he just all up in their face talking shit, sticking his camera in the police car, oh, taking pictures God. and videos. He's and doing just, too much. Just doing too much. Like, okay, he want them to, you know that, you know how that white privilege go? Uh-huh. Because if that had been a
That shit been over like five minutes. Show me your ID, you ain't, your ass going to cuff, yeah. and you gone. Mm -hmm. Real simple. Regardless of how you feel about these auditor style, or even if you believe they're guilty of trespassing, the manner in which they were treated after their arrest and the way they were spoken about is highly unprofessional. It appears as though the original video has been taken down. However, portions of it can be found on the other auditor's channels. I will link a few below, including the link to the original video in the event that it returns to a public status. As always, let me know what you think down below, and don't forget to stop by the other auditor's channels and let them know I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.